Uh, good afternoon. Um, as, as we've heard from previous speakers, uh, one of the biggest uh, nematode threats for stone fruit is the ring nematode. But there is another nematode that actually occurs more frequently on stone fruits, and that is the lesion nematodes or Pratilenka species. And uh, even though they are found uh, in a lot of instances, we, we, we are not sure of the importance of this nematode. So that is why we started this project in the form of a survey to determine the occurrence and the diversity and also the pathogenicity of the Pratilenka species in South African stone fruit orchards. Um, so I've spoken yesterday ab about Pratilenkus, but uh, just to confirm, it's um, the lesion nematodes are uh, migratory endoparasites, so they occur inside the roots, and this is where they feed on the cort cortex of the roots, and uh, the feeding destroys the, the cells and, and also causes extensive lesions on, on the roots. Um, uh, these lesions, uh, where they enter the roots, are also entrance sites for other pathogens such as uh, different fungi and bacteria. Okay, so uh, our geographical survey, which is underway at the moment, <coughs> Uh, is based on the uh, key production areas for stone fruit as defined by Hortkoro themselves. And uh, we have uh, assigned a amount of samples to be tested in, 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 in each area according to their production figures. And to this date, we've sampled 57 orchards which represents 11 regions and nine different fruit types, including apricot, peach, nectarines, plum, prune, and cherry. Um, so once we've sampled uh, these orchards, we analyze the roots and the soil, firstly by extracting the nematodes from the roots and all the soil then the, uh, the, the nematodes, we, the lesion nematodes that we've extracted, we establish cultures of on, on the uh, carrot disc culturing technique. And thereafter, we will identify the species present in, this, in these populations <coughs> using molecular techniques, uh, namely uh, PCR amplification and then also sequencing of the PCR products. So thus far, after one year of the product of the project, uh, we have mostly found one species, Pratilenkus vulnus, uh, which is consistent with international reports of the main species occurring on stone fruits. Um, so our next step in this project, which is uh, soon. Uh, we're starting as we speak is first of all to uh, once we've established which species we have present is to determine the host status of the different rootstocks that are used in the stone fruit industry to the to these Pratilenka species and uh, and get an idea of the pathogenicity on these rootstocks you see on that table uh, some information is known about root knot nematodes and ring nematodes, the resistance of these rootstocks, but none is known of the root lesion nematodes. So that uh, those screenings will soon start, and then we will we also uh, will be looking at the uh, status of some cover crops for the species that we find. Um, this is a, a, a add-on to the project. Uh, because we already have some uh, information on Pratilenkus vulnus uh, per se, uh, which was done in a previous project for uh, our status of uh, cover crops to be used uh, in the apple industry. And uh, we will, of course, use that data and also supplement it with new 
varieties of cover crops uh, to see. So at, at this stage, we envisage that we will be screening with Pratilinkus vulnus, the one that we found, and the other main species will be Pratilinkus penetrans, which is uh, internationally also known to occur on stone fruits, but we still have to confirm if that host record is true for South Africa. Uh, thank you for listening.